Hey, uh, so I, I want to walk you through uh, how to get started with the, the user testing mobile recorder app uh, for Android. So if you just go to your homepage or your applications, you can tap on the icon and it'll open it up. Uh, it's going to ask me for my username and my password. So I'm going to pause for just a second while I put that in. Okay, so I've signed in. Uh, now it's going to load up all the available tests that I have for this device. You can scroll through the list. Uh, you can see that there are different requirements for different tests. Uh, this one, there's a screener that I need to uh, pass before I can take it. Uh, you can decline or accept tests by tapping on the appropriate button, or you can also just slide them away like that, and that'll decline them. Uh, and you can undo it if you need. Um, I want to show uh, the tests for, oops, sorry about that. I want to show uh, the tests for other devices. What these are, uh, you can see here this message at the top says you cannot accept these tests on this device. Uh, you can see this one is an iPhone camera test. This one is for tablets. So this specific uh, Android phone that I'm using isn't eligible to take any of these tests. So you can decline them, but you actually can't accept any of them. Uh, it's just a list of all your available tests. Um, this is the manual refresh button, so it'll reload the list. If there's any new tests available, they'll show up once it reloads. Um, you can see here your recent average rating, um, your username, and your payment pending also. I'm going to go ahead and accept a test here. Uh, it says to find a quiet, distraction-free place to continuously speak my thoughts out loud and to do my best to complete each task before moving on. So I'm going to say next. <clears throat> this is the audio check, so I pass that. I'm going to say next. Uh, and what it's telling me here is uh, this Android device has uh, what some call a soft home button. It's not a hardware button, but there's a there's a home button here, so if I tap that, it'll take me home. And then I can come back into the test by finding the application again. Uh, but what, what you can actually do when you're taking a test is when you want to get in between the app or the website that you're testing uh, and the user testing app is if you hold that soft button, it'll bring up your Recents app. So then I can go into Chrome and see the last page that I was visiting. And when you're ready to go back into the app, you can press it again to switch between the two. So that's an easy way to switch between uh, what you're testing and the user testing app. Okay, so uh, these are the this is the scenario. Um, you can see the mic check at the top here. It lights up when I speak. Um, you heard about the site from a friend, and you want to see uh, how you can donate to community in need. This is just uh, the scenario for the test. If you tap next, there's the URL again. Uh, so this is the site that you'd be testing. You can actually see at the top here, this red line uh, indicates that you're recording. And when you press the pause, you can see that it turns blue. So that's how you can tell um, if you're recording or not. It also say recording is paused if you're within uh, our app. All right. And since this is um, just an example test, I'm just going to kind of quickly go through these tasks. Ideally, you'd want to uh, you know, actually complete the task while you're in the test. One last thing I wanted to show before we finish is um, if you forget the scenario or the mindset that you're supposed to have or the URL that you're supposed to be testing, and you can tap on this and see the heifer.org is where I'm supposed to be and uh, the scenario itself. And you can also uh, report a problem here if you need to. If you get stuck or if you can't complete the tasks, uh, you can report a problem from there. So again, just this is just an example, so I'm just going to kind of breeze through these. Uh, this is actually the last chance you'll have to record anything. Um, once you press the stop recording button, it won't record any more video or audio. Uh, so if you have any last comments about the site or the app that you're testing, now would be the time. And again, this is just an example, so I'm just going to breeze through these. And now you can see that, that it's uploading. Uh, that little blue indicator is the test progress. Uh, so this is a fairly short test, so really shouldn't take too long. And then once the upload is complete, you'll get a message that says that we received your video, and then it'll take you back to your um, list of available tests once you press done. That's it.